Welcome to the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Sydney here, Tyler here, Henry here. Three takeaways after Atlanta United's rather exciting 2-2 draw against Inter Miami, a match gentleman that Lionel Messi himself did make an appearance in. We'll talk about that obviously a little bit later on, but we got to start it off. Number one, Alexi Miranchuk, an absolute galazzo from the right side of the box to pull Atlanta level and eventually ultimately secure them a point it, my mindset it should have been Miami should have won. Miami should have had some goals late on. But Mirachuk pulled him level. Lena really let off a few times. But Mirachuk did score and ultimately it's a draw. Really good goal. Really good goal. Yeah. I mean, first of all, we are five minutes removed from Henry ruining Alexi Mirachuk's night. <laughs> we found out that Alexi Mirachuk did not get to meet Offset. <laughs> And we all thought he did, Offset being one of his favorite rappers. Anyway, carry on. Um, <laughs> no, but like, he had a great game. He was yeah. impactful, especially in the second half. And, you know, if we're being honest, this game could have gone to either team. But Atlanta was by far dominant in the final 15 minutes or so. I mean, it felt like that goal was coming, and it felt like it was literally seconds away. And Mirinchuk was, was part of that. And yeah. we talked about it a little bit before, but the fact that he was able to have space in, in the midfield, when you give that guy space, he's going to – absolutely make you pay and he showed it with the goal but he also showed it with just his passing and his kind of vision so uh that's the game that you wanted him to have tonight absolutely i just think this darn pink shirt has been the downfall <laughs> of my night because first of all on on the show me, me saying that Messi was starting and then that turned out not to be true and now and now just yeah no it's just been it's been terrible like i'm th yeah. having the performance at Atlanta united did saturday night anyways um <clears throat> yeah no just a, a an improved performance and and for alexi i mean that, that's huge for him, honestly. I'm, I'm super happy uh, that he got the goal. Um, <clears throat> honestly, I didn't even get to see it live because I was tweeting at the time. And so I, all I all I I'll just look just up and I see the ball you. just soar. Yeah, no. It's just <laughs> just reflecting back. Hindsight's 2020. This has just not been great. This I can't wear this shirt anymore. Uh, <laughs> well, but, it might have to because Alexi scored. So. But we'll, we'll talk later. <laughs> if, this, if this means Alexi scores more goals, then sure, whatever. Uh, we'll talk about it. But... Uh, but yeah, I was happy about Alexi. I definitely, you definitely wanted to see him get a goal contribution soon, and I'm glad that he got not just a goal contribution, but a goal in this game, and such a crucial goal too. Atlanta United was really fighting for not just a tie, but to win the game, especially towards the end. And they had chance after chance after chance after chance, and they were very unlucky not to get a win out of this one, not to get more goals. And so that's the energy that, that really we're looking for from this team. So... I go home, not, I mean, obviously you wanted the three points, but this performance at least gives me some encouragement compared to Saturday. So I guess that's takeaway number two, just the performance versus what happened on Saturday against Nashville SC. I mean, we all talked about it. You know, it just was below the standard for Atlanta United. This was much better. There was a disappointment around the locker room, not because they lost, but because they really felt it could have been three points in the back for them. That's where most of the frustration came from, from Brad Guzan, we heard from Saba, Alexi to some extent. But overall, a much, much better effort compared to Saturday. Yeah, you know, and you look at the game, look at the way that the game kind of played out, the, the game state, whatever you want to call it. Nashville had a plan to shut down Mir and Chuck. We talked about it last week or three days ago. And they did. They clogged everything defensively, and they had two good goals. That's, but that's what, what you have to do when you're a team that was on the kind of skid that they were. Now you come here with, with Miami, totally different type of team, entirely. So you know that at some point, every game Miami plays, at some point that game is going to get stretched out. And Atlanta tends to thrive in those kind of games. When they have space to operate, they are much more clinical. They are much more uh, adept at, at finding the right kind of passes. And then now they've got a couple of guys that can put the ball in the back of the net. And so it, was, uh, it wasn't it was just the game state, though. It felt like they unlocked something. It felt like they fed off the crowd, which was really, really cool to see. Uh, I haven't heard the Bens have this kind of atmosphere in a long time, and it was really, really nice to see. So I think the, the, the team itself fed off that really well, and I think all that kind of combined into a really good final, you know, 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, I mean, you talked about the attacking players a, a whole lot, especially towards the end. Uh, I want to highlight some of the defensive performance because that was excellent as well. The two goals that Atlanta United conceded today were really – they were very unlucky goals yeah. to concede, yeah. both of them off of deflections, mm -hmm. right? And so – but then you have Messi coming into a game that Miami is winning, right? And I, I was talking to Jackson the whole time. I was like, okay, well, if, if Atlanta's trailing, by the time Messi gets on, there's probably not a very good probability of them getting anything out of the game. <clears throat> and yet, you know, Messi did get some danger. He did get in the box a couple of times. And, you know, those were moments of panic. But eventually, you know, the defenders were able to shut them down. Credit to, you know, Derek Williams, who had a couple of very good tackles on clean tackles inside the box. He's got to be very careful with Messi because... Any, any slight touch, and that could potentially be a penalty. Um, you know, Gregerson was great as well. Amador, huge credit. He's been, he's been so good on, on defense. And, and, yeah, and um, Rob Valentino actually talked about that in the press conference today. You know, no one asked him about it, but he did talk about he had to give him credit for it because he's just been, he's been phenomenal. Just his anticipation, his positioning, his he, – he I think he cleared, <coughs> he cleared one off the line today, yeah. which was excellent. I mean, his, his commitment – really is, is, is fascinating. It's awesome to see from, from someone that's really pretty new to this club. So it's, it's just good to see that from him. And, yeah, just overall a, a great performance. And everyone was just – everyone was switched on when Messi came on. Everyone was on, was on high alert. And that's what you want to see, right? They, they knew where Messi was. They knew what they had to do to, to keep him quiet. And they did what Nashville did to Moranchuk, right? Once Messi came on, it was just boxing in Messi as much as possible, limiting his space. Because although he's crafty with his feet, he's very skillful. If you put enough bodies around him, you really limit what he's able to do. And Atlanta did that very well today. So huge credit to them uh, on both ends of the field. Yeah, that kind of feeds into point number three. You know, the big question was, would we see Lionel Messi? We knew he would travel. You know, Suarez, Alba would travel. They all three played. Uh, Messi, of course, was the big draw. Just the crowd just erupted when he came on the field. And... To its credit, Atlanta United handled it. them, I will say all three of them, but especially Messi and Suarez, very, very well tonight. And that was key to this draw. Yeah, and again, going back to what I said earlier, I mean, this game, it, it could have gone either way. But you talk about the Pedro Amador clearance. I mean, that ball was going in. You know, that that was a phenomenal clearance. And we'll talk about it more on the next show, but there's some Pedro Amador has this phenomenal ability to catch a ball uh, while defending and, and, and not get stuck in on a tackle, but actually win the ball. He very good at what he what he does, and he hasn't got enough credit to, to what Rob Valentino was saying. But they all work together as a team, and it, it is a little frustrating how, again, we're talking about the moment the greatest player in the world steps on the field, all of a sudden Atlanta starts playing better. Why does it take that? Why do you play to that level? You know, yeah, exactly. So if you can if you can capture that, I'm not saying play that kind of intensity for 90 minutes because that kind of intensity you would be dog tired after the after the first half but that kind of mentality is what you have to bring for a full 90 minutes and if if rob can can capture that in a bottle and work that to the team for the final few matches of the season we might be having a different conversation but ultimately yeah they did a great job in shutting down Messi and and suarez when he came on and uh it was good to see yep. i just i remember I want to say like the 89th, 90th minute, we were going into stoppage time. I, I lean over to Jackson, who sits right next to me in the press box, and I said, I could watch another 45 minutes of this because this game was very entertaining towards the end. You just had back and forth action. Atlanta was peppering Miami's goal. It was, it was just unbelievable that they didn't get another one. And that's, that's really what you want to see consistently from this team. If this team could perform like that on a consistent basis, they'd be so much better than they are right now. And if they played like that on Saturday, they would they would have beat the socks off of Nashville. But like you have to bring that kind of intensity. The intensity. Pretend Messi's on every single MLS team. Pretend Messi's on every single MLS team and play with that kind of intensity going forward. Because if you do that, you you go up just another level. So we'll see if Atlanta United can do that against the New York Red Bulls on Saturday. But tonight, a 2-2 draw against Inter-Miami. Looks like Miami are bound for the supporter shield, but a really good result. Drop points, yes, but have to be happy with the result here from Mercedes-Benz Stadium. We'll have coverage of the next match coming up here on YouTube. Follow us on X, 
threads, Instagram, what have you for more coverage. And uh, we'll see you next time.